Hi, <laughs> hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to film like a setting up my 2021 bullet journal with me type of video. I don't usually do a bullet journal, but this morning I was watching Amanda Wachley video and I was so inspired, and I'm like, oh, I want to be creative as well and do my own bullet journal. So here I am. So on the first page of her bullet journal, she did like a grid guideline thing. So I find it so smart, so I don't have to counter grids all the time. So I just did a similar thing here and just push down all the numbers and divide them. And I have to use a calculator to like calculate how many space I have to left if I'm going to divide the page by first. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I will put that video link down below so you can refer to it. And then I just quickly finish the title page. I get this info from another YouTube video as well, which I forgot which video that was. And then for this go page, I was also inspired by another Pinterest post I saw on Pinterest. Yeah, I love doing research when I'm doing this kind of creative thing so I can you know what I want to do and there are so many cool designs online on Pinterest or YouTube so I love it. I love social media. And then on the right, is it left or right? I think it's the right. Yeah, this is kind of an affirmation slash visualization page which I found on another blog post and I think it's really cute and will, will be really helpful for me to set my intentions for the new year and help me stay, stay grounded and remind myself just to be myself literally. I really love this layout so I will also put the link of the blog in the description box as well. And then I did a future log and this part I didn't speed it up because I was really impressed by the speed and the way I wrote this month's titles. I saw the one the future log in Amanda's video as well and that was really cool. But I will, I would prefer like a bigger future log so I can use this as as a content calendar as well. I have a separate channel speaking in Cantonese. I usually upload every Wednesday, so I will just highlight Wednesday every Wednesday. And I also circle the Saturday and Sundays just to indicate it's weekend. And yeah, that's it. I quite like this spread. And then I also do a to buy list thing because I have so many things I wanted to buy and do videos on, like a James Charles palette. And yeah, I just love a page like this. And then the left, the, no, it's the right, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, it's the right. The right page is a finance page. I'm still studying, so I don't really have a full-time job, but I really love editing, and I really love feeling that I have in control of my money, so I love having this page to visualize my future financial life, and I just find it quite fun. I did like a puzzle thing to track my monthly saving goals. At the end of the month, I can hit that saving goal and I'll just color it so yeah, it's kind of fun, right? Yeah, I just found like a 12 pieces puzzle on the internet and I just copied it. But like, it's so rough, but the drawing is so rough. Yeah, then I also want to write down my monthly ideal income for the year and I also wrote down on my current monthly expenses and income stream just to feel like I'm an adult and I have control over my money. And yeah. I can't wait for the day I finish school and I will just financial finally be financial independent. And I used to collect so many stickers in the past but I've never used them. I just simply buy them for collection purposes. This is like it's just very minimal, yeah. So I just found some cute stickers and try to see where I can fit in. One eternity later. This journal is also actually an old journal from like six years ago, and I never finished it. So I took out the old pages, and I have to redecorate the cover and the back. Like if you can't read Cantonese, this actually saying is that a bullish journal? I'm now watching it back. I'm like, why did you do that? <laughs> it's so cringe, and yeah, I just use different stickers to hide it. So I don't have to deal with this cringeness. And then at the back as well, I don't know what I wrote at the back. Like I don't get it. So I just use other stickers to cover it. <laughs> yeah. So I just suddenly thought of different more spreads I want to do for this um, bullish channel. Maybe I will add some more later. But I always wanting to do Vlogmas every year because I have a I'm Canadian channel, right? And like every time when December arrives and everyone is just posting Vlogmas videos and I have so many ideas of what my Vlogmas will be like but I never do them so this year I really want to make an effort and really make a promise to myself and I will do Vlogmas this year 
but it will probably be on my Canon's channel so yeah you will see if this English channel goes well but yeah I think that's it for my 2021 bullish general setup and I will say English is my second language so my pronunciation isn't the best I don't know I can't even pronounce words right in Cantonese so that's my problem so I hope you guys don't mind it and I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys have a really wonderful 2021 or more organized than 2021 I don't know so yeah I think that's it hope you guys enjoy I, I think I said this sentence three times already in this video but yeah so 